name of Jesus Christ is lifted high. Be my Lord and Savior. Take my life. Thank you, Jesus. Join us today in worshiping Jesus Christ. This is Calgary, Canada. We've planted a church at the gates of the city and continue to watch it grow. Every week we lift the name of Jesus and preach to thousands of people, including everyone from businessmen to children and street people to city officials. We've been persecuted to the point of having city police confiscate our Bibles and our signs. They try to take everything representing our freedoms, but can never take the seal of Christ from our lives. Jesus said the world would persecute us, but we take heart in the fact that he has overcome the world. What we do can be done by any believer in any city. Welcome to Street Church. We know you'll be blessed. Came by to invite you out to our event outside. We're speaking out for the needs of the homeless and uh, just remembering what happened in the Holocaust. So I'd like to invite the city officials to come on out. Hi there. How are you? Good. Just have an invitation for the mayor to come to our event outside. And also we have a gift from the poor to the mayor as well. So it's uh, just a flower. Okay. And, um, yep. Yeah. So it's just an invitation asking him to come and, sure. and speak to the poor. Can I leave this with you? Sure can. And I would like to invite the aldermen so they're upstairs. Hello. Hi. How are you, Michelle? Good. Listen, this is just an invitation, just talking about what's happening outside today with mm-hmm. the poor. Okay. If you could just pass it along to the aldermen, okay. that'd be great. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Be blessed today. We brought some pictures. Today is the 60th anniversary of Jewish state. And we see a lot of parallels, what's going on with the poor in our own cities. And what happened in the early 30s and then 40s, of course, how millions of people were slaughtered and killed because they, the Germans, thought that they are not human beings. So today, again, we want to remind you that you have been created in the image of the living God, that God loves you. And when you look at the cross, what you see is the manifestation of God's love, the cross speaks about mighty God that came down. He came down and he was willing to die for sinners, for people like you and me. Jesus Christ lived a perfect life and because there had to be a perfect lamb, 
a perfect lamb that would die for our sins. When he reached the age of 30, he started preaching a message of repentance, a kingdom of the living God. And when he was 33, he died on the cross for our sins. He died for diseases. And he said, whoever will believe in me shall not perish, but will find everlasting life. God says, if you repent from your sins, turn away from your wickedness, you shall live. Whoever will call upon the name of the Lord, whoever, that means you, that means your neighbor, that means young and old, the poor and rich, whoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall live, shall be saved. You see, there is hope for every man. This is not a hope just for the rich and the powerful. God's forgiveness is for every person. If you're a drug dealer, crack addict, prostitute, doesn't matter in the eyes of God, we all are created equal. It's a lie from the devil that some people are higher than others. And that's what happened in 30s. We all have been created in the image of the living God. God says, I know you by name. I formed you in your mother's womb. I counted your hair. And I want you to live. But for that, you have to turn away from your wickedness. You have to turn away from your selfish desires. From your sexual desires. From the garbage that kills you day by day. And you have to turn for forgiveness to God. And God is quick to forgive you. God is quick to set you free. Are you a slave today? Slave of the devil. Hooked on drugs. Hooked on sex. Hooked on alcohol. Are you a slave? When God says, come to me, and who comes to me is free indeed. Who comes to Jesus Christ is free. He died on the cross and he rose again for our freedom. A man cannot be free unless he is free through the blood of Jesus. Only through the blood of Jesus a man can be truly free. And the promises of God are for everyone who believes. Whoever, whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how they can save if no one is preaching? And how they can preach if no one send them? Today we are sent to give you a warning that God is not deaf, that God is not blind. That he sees everything. David, David, stealing sign. So you see here a total dictatorship. You have the officers stealing our property. You have the officers stealing our property. You know, God bless you. Thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God. And doesn't matter if you wear a badge or not. You are afraid of the corruption to be exposed. You see, those tickets are given to us for feeding people. And the officers don't want you to see that. They say it's about amplification and the lie to the public. We receive 50 tickets for feeding homeless. And the liars from the city hall lie to the public and the media helps them.